In this example, we're going to look at how jQuery allows us to modify the document object model, or DOM, using two different methods. What we're going to do is look at taking our text from our left hand side and copying over those list items into a div on the right hand side when we click on them. Now we've already set up our HTML page. If we look at the code, you can see that we have a very basic text and we have a div with an idea of target that we're going to copy into. We're loading jQuery from an external source and then we have a script tag that we're going to use for the script that's specific to this page. We have our document.ready and now we're going to create a selector to select whenever we click on one of those list items inside of our UL. Now we have our selector and we have a click event handler. Whenever the user clicks this function will be called. What we want to do is look at copying the contents from our list item that was clicked on into our div target. Now there's two different methods that jQuery gives us, text and HTML. So what I'm going to do is first set my selector and I'm going to first show you text. Now I'm going to copy in text which is going to be the unmarked up text. I'm going to take this as my list item that I have selected. So we're going to say this dot text. Save this information. Go to our browser. You'll notice that my italicized text is no longer italicized. If I click on the element that has bolded, you notice that the bold is removed. Now if I try what happens if I pass the HTML in as text. Return to my web page. Reload. Now you'll notice that instead of encoding the HTML, it now displays the HTML tags. Likewise for strong. So this creates kind of an interesting result and it's why we have to be careful that we don't mix text and HTML. Now I'm going to switch to my LI is once again using text, the unmarked up text, but my target is going to use HTML. Once again, this is the same as if I had, had used text for both of them. Text removes all of my HTML encoding. So if I pull the information out with text, so it doesn't matter if I use HTML on my target or not. If I use HTML on my LI tag that I've selected, then I'll be pulling out the HTML marked up text and I'll be inserting that as HTML into my target. Now you'll notice that I have bolded text and italicized text and any other markup that I want to include. Because text does not have to worry about HTML markup, it is actually slightly faster to use. However, if we want to have marked up HTML, we must use the HTML method whenever we're going to be modifying our document object model. 